Okay, hello and welcome to the second episode of the Taylor's Principle Editor. Um, this is a short one, and in this episode I'll show you the data board and um, yeah, how to import things, how to export things, and um, how to grab this from one file. Yeah, so uh, we're starting. Um, I create an empty world. Uh, we already did this in the last tutorial, so you create a new document dot world, let him process. And then we've got the new world over here. Oh yeah, camera upside down. Uh, yeah, moving. I already showed you this. Um, gonna insert a basic model and um, assign him just um, just a ground texture or something. Uh, yeah, no, not texture model. Man. Uh, um, then we rotate this so we can use this as floor. This is just a primitive floor. Uh, how to uh, use um, a simple model and how to import this into your world and how to assign a model to this. I already showed this in the last episode. So we can just hit play and fall out of our map because we basically did not give us enough space to um, yeah, land on this thing. I think it should now work. Yep. Now we can walk on here and um, yeah just using this as little ground. Um, a little annotation, I forgot this in the last video. Um, you can use Control c Control v comments in here. So I have now selected it, uh, hitting Control c Now I have copied it and if I now hit Control v it will be pasted uh, where my mouse cursor is, with the pivot there. So if I do the mouse cursor over there, hit Control v it um, yeah, pastes there. And the pivot point is uh, that point, if you hit Control where you have your little uh, handles here if you um, hold control. That's the pivot point. So if you want to e exactly have it uh, like this, uh, yeah, just move your mouse slightly there where you want it and then you can use the handles to move it to the better location and um, that's pretty useful. You can uh, yeah, exactly move your things around and do it with simple steps big wards. So ma markering with shift, so having one object selected, clicking on others while holding shift and you have selected them, hitting control C and controlling uh, control V over here and trying to move them together and that's basic, um, yeah, that's really basic stuff to yeah, copy your models from time to time and yeah sure it's ugly now but um, it's only for test purposes so you see here it's just you see so if you do your own map you do it better but that's just now for test purposes uh, yeah so that I forgot to do in the last video so the data board um, as I already showed you this it's the tab over here and um, this is currently my data bot file. Um, first, I'll show you how to import data bot. So, um, I have two files on my desktop. This is the data bot Solace um, gift me, and um, this is the data bot I made. So, his one is probably about 100 times bigger and contains all files you need, um, containing all Easter eggs and. Yeah, if you want to really go deep, um, then you probably take his uh, his one. Um, my one is just a bit basic, and uh, I will go, go give you to download the databots.zip file where both MD files are in. So um, once you have one of this MD file and you want to export this into your databot, basically go into your Taylor's principal root folder, then go to user data, Taylor series editor default tools and then you get a bunch of uh, files over here and here you see the databot.md and this is probably empty or you don't even have this file uh, I, I think you have this file but it should be probably empty uh, yeah that was TeamSpeak um, you probably have it um, empty because you don't have anything inside inside um, so um, yeah, uh, if you have this file, uh, you can just rename it uh, if you have already made changes to it, and then or you just delete it and then simply drag one of our data bots in and uh, remove the brackets so it's just named databot.md. So uh, this is the exact um, yeah name. Then you can just restart your editor and you should have the new files inside. 
Um, having Soleil is a bit different um, because, yeah, actually, you obviously it's it would be better if you grab this uh, from uh, Soleil's version because I forgot something over here. I'm really bad at uh, knowing things. Um, if you download Soleil's one, which is actually this one, uh, which is um, I opened this up in Chrome. Uh, so here, um, if you download this zip archive uh, from uh, Soleil's, this is actually a bit different because um, you actually get more folders. So I forgot that. Yeah, you have user data and temp, and this is also um, right. So if you want to install Soleil's ones, just t take temp and user data and drag this into your root folder and then you should probably be fine. Just hit yes uh, at the question to override things and then you should be fine. Uh, at my one you just need the MD file. Okay, so once you loaded the um, data board you can easily yeah, see here the things um, and uh, under uh, yeah, let's go to prototyping. I made some, this is only for myself, I used this for myself ma making but you can use this too. Um, yeah, for example, I have wall 2x2 over here, and I can dr drag and drop this into the map, and you see this results little prototyping uh, asset, which is from the prototyping directory. And we can handle it just like um, a normal object, but um, yeah, we did not create this via insert and the green little cube. So this way you can just drag and drop things from the data board inside your level, and it will automatically slap into the ground, which is pretty cool so yeah you see dragging uh, things from the data bot into the level is fairly simple and then you can proceed by just uh, doing copy pasting or whatever you want to um, to create your level uh, grade so whatever you want to do um, yeah, the, the same thing for the game components. So I have here, uh, yeah, something like uh, let's take let's take a red uh, laser, let's take a red receiver. Yeah, dragging and dropping this, and then we just need to rotate because it's facing inside. And then you see we are fine. And that with the transponder is the same thing. M uh, sometimes there's a bug that you can't. Or yeah, you can't uh, drag and drop this uh, when you not previously selected it. So then you need to go back, select it, and then you can drag this in. But I think this is no problem. So you see, this is easy data about um, thinking. Uh, yeah. And um, now I'll show you how to add your own object into it. So you start by adding a simple model and giving this model a uh, yeah, giving this m simple model object an actual model. So let's take um, statues. Uh, let's take statue three. I don't know what this is. Hey, it's it's just a rock. What's that? Like a statue? I I don't think this is a statue, but okay. We take this rock statue thingy, and we want to have this in our data board. So we go into the data board. Just take the object. Okay, that did not work. Uh, just take the object, object, uh, click on it, and hit Control C, like copy it. So now you could paste it anywhere on your map you want, as I already said, or you go into your data board and hit Control V, and then you see it's pasted in here. It's named Simple Model 003, like as the object. Um, I think I forgot this too. This little menu over here shows the uh, models you have in your map present. So this is just named like the model is named, so you can now hit F2 and rename this. So rename this to useless statue. And now we have successfully saved a useful statue, a uh, useless statue, because this is not useful. So um, it has all the properties this model has, so even if you would change here something uh, in the entity settings, like this here, it will, it will be in the uh, data board entry 2 if you would have um, if you would have uh, imported this to the data board and now we can just drag and drop the useless statue on our map um, yeah creating folders is also simple just right click create new folder 
and then we can drag things into this new folder to uh, rearrange this. So yeah, the data bot is a very useful and uh, very great feature and I can't live without it because yeah, adding the entities from the entity list every time, typing every time new values in uh, just for having the cube and drag this on the map directly is uh, so much easier and it's better. So yeah, um, I hope you like this tutorial, it's just a basic one and um, we see I see you next time.